Hi everybody, just a brief video today to look at a tool within InfraWorks that will help us better visualize our surfaces. Specifically, what I would like to do is I'd like to be able to exaggerate the surface vertically to help with the definition and better see maybe some nuances in the surface that might be difficult to see if it weren't exaggerated. Now this is a concept that a lot of folks use in Civil 3D quite a bit as they do some surface analysis. Uh, however, you know, a lot of folks don't know that it's also possible to be done in InfraWorks. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So to get started, what I've got is a, a model that is constructed of a point cloud. That point cloud is of a site plan, and we've already taken and created and turned that, that point cloud into a surface object. So what I'm going to do, just to make that surface a little bit easier to see, is we're going to come over here under Model Explorer, I'm going to turn off the overlay and turn off the cloud itself and what we're left with is the, the surface object. Now the surface, whether it's created from a point cloud, whether it's created from um, model builder, maybe it was brought in uh, Land XML, maybe it was brought in uh, IMX, you know, any number of different ways. As we look at it in a one-to-one a -one vertical exaggeration or true size, it may not be you know, as easy to identify like nuances or things like that in the surface. Um, that would indicate maybe problems in its collection or something like that. So exaggerating it vertically will help to accentuate changes in the model and maybe help us identify areas that we need to look at. So to, uh, to do that, it's really a, a quite simple process. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to Data Sources. When we open up Data Sources, we'll see uh, this terrain or any other terrains that are part of this model. I can select that, and if we can either double-click on it or we can right-click and say Configure. And when the dialog box comes up, it shows us the uh, the name of the point cloud, tells us coordinate system and that. But we'll see down here at the bottom scale, we can adjust it from a 1 maybe to 2. We'll exert, exaggerate it two times in the z-axis. We'll close and refresh. Now when we do that, it'll disappear because I'm spinning the wheel backwards now. It's actually higher than it was before. So we notice now that as we look, our, our uh, berm here has become uh, accentuated quite a bit. Let's go ahead and, and do it one more time. This time I'm going to double pick. We'll set it from 2 maybe to 4. We'll do close and refresh. I'll spin the wheel to, uh, to back up so that I can see its, uh, its elevation at this point. And as we come in and look at it once again, we can see the surface has been further accentuated uh, by the fact that it's been scaled uh, or exaggerated vertically. All right, so I mean we start to see little uh, little dimples here that may be once again, depending on how the information was collected, may have be of concern or some areas that we should take a better, uh, better, closer look at. We now see a, an indentation here that might have been, uh, you know, the result of once again either something improper in the collection or something in the terrain that maybe we wouldn't have noticed otherwise if it hadn't been exaggerated. All right, like I said before, this is a technique that a lot of folks use on the civil side uh, from Civil 3D to uh, exaggerate surfaces to be able to look at that level of detail and it's also possible for us to do that on the InfraWorks side as well. Another place where this tool can be helpful is to identify where exactly these surfaces are. So for example, this is the only surface that's in here. Let me open up another model. So we'll click to go back to the home screen. I'm going to open up a model that's looking at the same point cloud data but now it's in the context of uh, other surface information. In this case it happens to be model builder but maybe we've got multiple surfaces and that that have been brought in and I'd like to see what areas encompass each surface. So I'm going to restore a bookmark here. We'll go back to my uh, Tuesday bookmark so we're looking at it in the right location. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. <clears throat> and what we'll do uh, is if I come over and look at data sources I can see from terrain I've got uh, one that was created via point cloud I've got a couple of others, in this case were created with Model Builder, but maybe they came in through some other sources. But the idea is if I select on these, it's, it's kind of difficult to tell, well, Elevation 1, Elevation 2, what, what areas are made up of each. In this particular case, let's go ahead and select the one or the area that was created via the Point Cloud. I'm going to go ahead and uh, right-click and Configure. And when that comes up, once again, we'll drag the dialog box down so you can see the entire window. We'll come down and we'll change its display from uh, a Z exaggeration of 1 to 2. We'll drag that up and when I hit close and refresh, it immediately updates my display. It makes it very obvious now what portion of my model uh, is comprised of information from that, that terrain. Alright, so uh, the tool that I'm showing you from a 
exaggeration standpoint can help us not only to visualize and look at nuances within the surface that might be easier to see when it's exaggerated, but it also provides a nice tool to give us some idea as we look at our model, you know, after the fact, what, uh, what areas uh, each one of these terrains takes and makes up. So hopefully this is, uh, this is helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.